This is the pediatrics emergency room at the Luis Rassetti Hospital in the Venezuelan city of Barcelona, about 300 kilometers east of Caracas. Here, dozens of children are in desperate need of proper treatment. Most of them have been diagnosed with amoebiasis, a form of dysentery transmitted by contaminated food or water. Lady Chacon's daughter, Briani, is three months old. She suffers while her mother says she has been abandoned. My daughter has diarrhea. She almost had a heart attack. We have nothing. You arrive here and there is nothing. I was in a crisis because I thought I was losing her. Children here have diarrhea with blood in it and they are vomiting, but nobody is helping us. I want this government out now. It has destroyed us. We were allowed to film because staff here say they want the world to see that they are unequipped to save children's lives. Just this week, 14 children have died. The figures could climb. You can see how desperate the situation is here. There's several children on each one of these beds. People are telling us that there's no medicines, that there are not enough syringes, among other things. Many of the children that are arriving here are dying from one day to another. Marlene Marino's baby boy was one of them. He was two months old. On Tuesday night, he died. His body remains in the hospital because she hasn't been able to get together the money needed to buy a coffin. There is nothing here. They have no medicines. They don't have food. And now my son is dead. People in Barcelona believe the outbreak was caused when a sewage pipe broke and contaminated the local water supply. There was no chlorine or other chemicals in supply to treat the water. Parents with their children continue to line up for treatment. Staff at the hospital say they don't have the resources to help. Three years ago, we stopped receiving gauze and alcohol. There are not enough syringes or serums to hydrate children. The government of President Nicolás Maduro denies there is a humanitarian crisis in Venezuela. However, he recently announced he is reforming the country's health care system. This is a public company recovered by the revolution. Venezuela is going to produce all the medicines it needs for its public health care system. In social security, we can reach everyone like it should be in socialism. The situation in the Luis Rassetti Hospital is one of the reasons why the self-declared interim president of Venezuela, Juan Guaidó, says humanitarian aid is urgently needed. But some aid officials advise, if it does arrive, it needs to be carefully managed. Humanitarian aid is a mechanism that every country has. It's a mistake to make politics out of this. There are great needs in Venezuela and it has to be controlled, managed by the United Nations and other agencies, so it reaches those who need it. A crisis that has people at this hospital watching and hoping that their children will survive. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Barcelona, Venezuela.